upgrade its heat, to maintain its temperature, um, to work, um, as, to, to maintain its existence, that it creates underpinning nested vortices. Okay. And by the world boundary condition, by them being staggered, it creates that everything is focused at the center of the coil. Uh, one engineer refers to it as it literally it rings. And so the and and, and again the mathematics uh, and the the grid well there's an overlying grid that you can lay out over the torus that, that this defines how you wrap the coil in order to to allow these underpinning nested vortices to occur. And when you energize the coil, when you wind it based on one, two windings going in opposite directions when it's energized uh-huh. uh, along the doubling circuit, um, I, I state that ideally it even has what is called a changing aspect ratio. What does that mean? Well, t- when you wind a, a toroid coil, you have big spaces at the outside, at the outer diameter, at the equator, and as you get towards the inside of the coil, you have um, everything bunched up. What I, the type of coil that I make, I actually take into account that electricity that everything expands and contracts. Um, it's based on the um, condensed matter physics, the inverse square law, that as you get closer to the axis, everything compresses, and as you get farther away from the axis, everything expands. Uh-huh. So that property actually occurs in electricity, and that's what they don't weigh in today when they make coils, and that's why we have so much reluctance and friction. Right, and we lose so much as heat or whatever. I, what I did is I was able to figure out how coils, how electricity, where it's going to be, past, present, and future, the way that it wants to move naturally without forcing it. Again, that's called the longest mean free pathway of least resistance. Right, okay, so... So, so uh, I claim to make on a macro structure, on a, on a very, uh, on, on a large scale, a coil that has super efficiency without having to use superconductors. Mm-hmm. Because this stuff defines the best way for electrons to move, too. That's right. Right? In other words, it's no different than, any, than it defines the best micro way. Micro to macro, macro to micro, it works. Right. If and you it's... take the numbers over the toroid skin and you group them together like every seventh number, it makes the doubling circuits all over again. Mm-hmm. The harmonics of the toroid skin is so perfect. If you take any number in the center and you add the numbers around it, it always equals the number in the center because it makes waves of nine. Um, it's modeling. Um, it's modeling how everything is is passing vibration. Everything is working coherently with one another. So, um, with DNA, uh, I was astounded when I initially did the work to discover that the underpinning nested vortices are not askew. They're not staggered. When I was working with uh, the double spiral helix, I was quite surprised to find that the boundaries, the world boundary conditions, align up perfectly so that they create opposing vortices. Um, So nature uses the mechanism of these underpinning nested vortices um, completely different than it would be, so to speak, on a toroidal coil level. Everything, the, the nested vortices have unique applications depending on what the purposes are, whether it's to keep together and, and maintain a composed shape like the toroid or instead to unravel hmm. or duplicate like in the helix. Right. And I found that information duplication occurs when the world boundary conditions in DNA are complete, when the world boundary conditions line up and are mirrored. All right. It's a big... It's outrageous. I mean... Because, uh, well, and I think what we need to do now is talk more about applications. And, I mean, what do you see What do you see being done with it? Let's just start talking about things that you see being done with this, uh, this technology. Let's start important. with energy, man. This well, is I want one. to start with medicine. Okay, let's start with biology and medicine. And those are the two, medicine and energy. I mean, those are the things that are causing us uh, the greatest amount of grief right now on this planet. So. Okay. The reason I started with medicine is because... Um, because everything's a two-sided sword. This discovery uh, can go in different directions. So I, I'd like to always address the most um, worthwhile purpose, but I agree energy is a, a problem. 
Well, I'm, I'm with you, though. Health is, uh, you know, and being able to cure disease is something I've been very interested in. You and I talked off the air earlier today, and we, we were speaking of Royal Raymond Reif, who is a hero of mine, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and someone whose work I'd love to see. Um, uh, the Reif machine, um, radionic. Device. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I just love to see him uh, validified, you know, and, and, and it doesn't mean through his work being revived, but through someone else showing, you know, that, that, that these things are possible, and I think that that's a, a potential here with your work, so. Um, just, i like to mention that he also was a Baha'i, a member of the Baha'i faith like me, and he had a Baha'i funeral. He lived in San Diego, which is also where I, I originally did most of my work. Oh, interesting. And just, I guess it's off the track of what we're talking I had a friend there who was a graphic designer, and he was friends of John Crane, Royal Rice um, Lab Assistant, mm-hmm. yeah. who he passed on, um, who I guess either way, he ended up with all of um, Rice's uh, hardware and notes, and he went over to John Crane's house, and his whole house, I don't know if, it, if what happened, I think he went and he was in the hospital and he was sick, but anyway, he showed me the pictures, his whole house was gutted out. Oh, yeah, he took all everything. The, and um, he, he showed me, he gave me a copy of a, a picture of a napkin that Royal Rife was scribbling his notes on mm-hmm. when he was in the restaurant, restaurant waiting for dinner, yeah. discussing using how he was able to use the Rife microscope, discussing how many atoms were, he could see inside the, the cancer cell. Yeah, amazing. And um, so I agree. I, there's been great scientists way before me and... That you know, I I wouldn't I don't even like being compared to. Um, 